Hey, Reggie, how are you? Great. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thank you very much, Scott. Uh, you've been very lucky to do lots of different genres in your in your career and tell lots of different stories. Tell me about the unique challenges of, of making a Christmas film, because there's a lot of them and there's a lot of different versions of Christmas, everything in between. Now Christmas movies are sort of a subgenre, right? Mm. And there's probably 30 original Christmas movies made every year. And I'm being conservative, right? Probably more than that. So the trick is, how do you break out of the pack? How do you make a Christmas movie that no one's ever seen before? And that's what I think we did. I don't know how many other Christmas movies have jump scares and car chases and kung fu battles, as well as, you know, great Christmas songs and hit you in the feelings. Yeah, I think the only one I could think of you saying that is quite a unique film in that sense. The only one I could think of was Jingle All the Way, but that's probably because it was it's Arnold Schwarzenegger doing arty things in a Christmas movie. But you're right, it's, kid... it's a very original, very original tale. Yeah, I know my kids love Jingle All the Way. And they were like, Daddy, are you going to be as good as Jingle All the Way? I said, I got you, I got you. Uh, and you get to reunite with Eddie uh, after all those years of Boomerang, which I'd still maintain is one of his most underrated uh, films that he that he that he's done tell me about had you tried to work together in the in the interim years had you tried to do something together and this was just the project that came up or was it just the project itself that brought eddie and you back together well every couple of years we run into each other and we start throwing ideas back and forth and you know we don't want to rush it because it's got to be the right one and this one was a no-brainer we both love christmas movies uh we both have families we love celebrating christmas together and we had a great script so that was it. He's such a he's such a wonderful talent. And this, as Kelly was just saying, it's wonderful to see him playing a dad because he's done, you know, the R-rated comedies. He's done Beverly Hills Cop and all that kind of stuff. But he has a real kind of sincerity. Is It, it must be fun for you to kind of bring that out in him because not he doesn't always get to do that. Yeah, my goal as a director is to give people what they want from Eddie and to give them things they don't expect from Eddie. Once you get to know him like I do, you realize he has this huge depth of talent. He's a great dramatic actor. He has so many different skill sets as a comedic actor. His physical comedy is that they do uh, Im imitations of people. So I'm always like, how do we get more of him on screen and show parts of him that we haven't seen on screen before? So always fun. I did want to ask you about uh, Boomerang because it's I think it was 30 years last year and it's mm -hmm. such a such a great film and I still feel like it's such one of his underrated comedies. Do you have uh, do you have really fond memories of of that film because at the time he was like he was like as big as it can get back in sort of the late 80s early 90s. Boomerang was a movie that changed my life and was a fantastic experience making it and the fact that it has kind of stood the test of time and people still love it the way they do I'm always very grateful uh to have made that movie and for eddie to give me the opportunity and in this one uh, you get to do a lot of different things like you said there's lots of visual effects there's all those car chases all that kind of stuff does that does that keep you on your toes as a filmmaker that when you go into a new film you might learn different skills or that you might do different things that maybe you you've done before does that keep it kind of your energy up and keep it keep it fresh for you yes uh you know i think a little bit of fear is crucial when you make a movie you can't be complacent so if you're doing something that's a new territory for you or is more ambitious than you've ever done that keeps the keeps you uh your blood flowing and where, where do, I just spoke to Kelly about this, about kind of famous, uh, fa favorite Christmas Christmas movies. Is there one in your household that, that always goes on? Or do you kind of go with the mix? And also is Die Hard in that, in that list of ah, films? I've got a top five. Uh, and it's actually two movies and three TV specials. Uh, okay. I, and, and in no particular order. You know, It's a Wonderful Life, Elf, uh, the original Grinch, TV special, the original Rudolph Christmas special, and of course, Charlie Brown Christmas. So those are my favorites. Uh, just before I go, I was looking <laughs> through your elf filmography and forgot that you'd obviously made uh, Serving Sarah with, with Matthew Perry and also, you know, he's no longer with us. Um, I just wondered, do you have any special memories of, of working with him? Because it, it's been such an outpouring of kind of sadness, but also joy of, of what he brought to, to the world with his with his warmth and his and his humor and just just being such a unique talent. Sure. I mean, look, it, it's a tragedy, you know, um, such a gifted guy to pass away so young. 
he was always, you know, battling um, to be his full self and um, just a terrible, terrible loss. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Reggie, I wish you all the best <gasps> for the movie. I hope it goes down really well for you. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! Hey you guys! Hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!